Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about um, everything about the rubber band for my braces. There are two types of rubber band. One is the ligatures, which you see in people's uh, metal braces. It's wrapped in their individual uh, bracket in here. It comes with like colors or like clear. Um, that is called ligatures. Another one is called interarc. It's in here. So this is the interarc type. Um, so yeah, this thing is function for uh, adjusting your bite and your jaw to correct the position. I read it up, it's often used to correct the overbite. Overbite is when upper section of your tooth is like bigger than the bottom one or underbite when the bottom one is going out more than the upper one. It's rarely used for the cross bite, but I don't know, that's just what I read. Um, let me know guys if you have the cross bite to use um an elastic band it'll be interesting to know and good to learn um yeah it comes with uh different colors and it comes with different diameter strength and names so as you can see this is tortoise so the animal name is uh the name is tortoise the diameter comes in the inch three and sixteen inch and the strength comes in ounces, which is the six and a half ounces for mine. So this, the diameter is three and six and inch. It depends on uh, your orthodontics, what they want to fix. Um, so how far they need to go. For mine is from bottom here to up to my canine in here. So I guess it's to pull my canine down um, and also to fix my bite to have it sit in the, in the right position too um, so yeah I always wear it whenever I have my um, Invisalign on then I have that on too because it's very very important to fix your bite um, and so the strength is expressed in inch. stronger forces are needed when you know like depends on what braces you are getting so that's about that and then um, the name uh, comes in different names. Some comes in the name of boys or girls. Some comes in the names of countries. Some comes in the names of animals. So for me, um, mine comes in the name of animal. So that one, uh, each orthodontics company, they have their own name. So it's not really meant anything. The name is just for people to identify them easier. So yeah. That's about it. Let me know what's your guys, um, is that name of the countries, animal, um, boys or girls. Well, I would suggest to ask your orthodontics, try to not get it online on your own because you know, you might need one bag of this and then you need like another bag of cheetah or like, you know, um, different name. Probably you need a stronger one in the beginning, like very, very strong. And then you need a light one at the end. You never know, right? So I would recommend to just ask your orthodontics what's best for you before buying off online. What it does, um, uh, elastic put pressure so that it corrects your jaw and your bite to the right position. Um, so that's what it does. The purpose is first to get in the proper bite. So when you have a proper bite, then it's less pain in your jaw. You know, like probably if you have underbite, then your jaw works so hard, like to bite things, and it puts like pressure in your jaw in here and in your neck, and that it might cause headache because of your this thing is all related, right? So remember when I went to my first consultation with my with the first orthodontics um she does explain to me something about like how my my problem looks like and how my jaw is going up more and so that will cause a neck pain for me because how things are forced like that way so yeah um and i'm so glad that the doctor that i go right now i'm working with she will be able to correct that um, without having me to have a surgery so that's like a, a real good news I will update you guys and on how my neck is doing and everything I'm sure it does contribute if you see like the position 
when it's corrected, it will help a lot, I'm sure. Even though I, I, I know that I have a neck problem um, or shoulders pain from just my postures in front of the computer or just sitting down, um, not in the right uh, position. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. My previous pictures, it was really high in here. And now it's slowing down a little bit. You see that? It's not as high as before. So um, that's the function of it. If you see my first few video, I was struggling to put my rubber band on. Um, now I'm getting faster. So they give you this tool. You just hook it up like this, right? And then you put it down in here in where the screw is in here put it down and then move it up the same thing with the left side you put it down and move it up now that I don't really use it as often anymore because I just like to be fast just put it down and I hook it up put it down hook it up um so yeah I even hook it on when I'm driving you know so I put I always have this sanitizer in my car when I'm in rush or I need to be fast, I just have my Invisalign on and then in the car I'll uh, pump uh, one or twice of the sanitizer. I'll took this rubber band on and put it in while I'm driving <laughs> with my hands. So yeah, um, probably bringing your sanitizer everywhere is a great idea. For me, I don't have the whole complete tools. I was thinking of doing that but um, then I then I thought of it like I don't really need it because the nature of my jobs I don't really go out to eat for lunch um, or a dinner I just eat at home um, so yeah I don't really need the whole bag but it's a good thing to prepare if you want um, you can get your own tools toolkit to be ready for and put anything that you need so that it's handy yeah that's all guys um, Comment below anything that you want to talk about about rubber band for braces. Bye guys!